I wish he would have been in the boat this year, but I mean, that wouldn't made much of a difference because they went undefeated anyway. He's doing what he's supposed to do, he's being a team player. Uh, he's not the number one option to me. So I just think that the whole offense should revolve around Anthony Davis. Episode. This is the NBA episode of the Tell How You See It podcast. NFL. We're gonna get to some NFL at the end, but uh, I just want to get into some NBA topics, man. Uh, the Eastern Conference. We're gonna start off with the Eastern Conference, man, and what the Eastern Conference looking like. You got myself that's on top of the Eastern Conference right now. Got had Kimber Walker come back today. That was pretty good for us against the Knicks. Right. So, uh, man, I'm looking for big things, man. This COVID ain't stopped us, man. We ain't COVID ain't gonna stop us, man. Get J- uh, J- uh, Jason Tatum back, man. We're gonna be all right. We we, we, we we making steps, we, yep. you know, we young, you know what I mean? We, 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 we gradually gonna get there. Yeah. Yeah, but what you think about myself? Uh, the Celtics, um, the only thing I worry about if I was y'all is uh, Brooklyn. Okay, oh, that's, that, that's, I mean, I think we gonna meet them in the East Coast Finals, so yeah, we're okay. gonna get to Brooklyn later though. Uh, but next team, know, next team I'm talking about, I'm talking about the books. I yeah. think they're a lot for the playoffs. Uh, they looking pretty good this year. Uh, they, I like the addition of Drew Holiday. Yeah. Uh, you know, Chris Middleton playing a little bit better this year. Yeah. Uh, I think they're gonna be better in the playoffs this year. I still don't think they get to the East Conference Finals though. I still don't think it's enough. Uh, well, I think I, actually, I, I, I think they, I think Giannis should should got should should should, should go ahead and lift do uh, should do do. Cause yeah. I don't want to see him winning down there. I, I just. It's going to come down to, to the Greek freak, though. It's, um, has, he got, has he gotten better? Yeah, he has it. We already seen it. Saying, the shot ain't got you know, better. I mean, it's the same player. He, he right. and, 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 and when it comes to playoffs, that same player that you you right now, they going to shut all that shit down. You can't play one on five. He got one play. Yeah, I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive. I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna try to run you over. I'm going to try to dunk on you. They're like, hey, uh, do, 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 pull up. Just pull up from just a little bit. He's like, I can't, I'm not, I'm not able to. Yeah, so it's kind of like, kind of like a being Simmons type deal. Yeah, so, and that's your, that's your, your leader. Your number one player. So. Your back-to-back MVP. Yeah, I don't so. see him going no more. We gonna, we gonna move on. Yeah. Nothing else to say about the new one. We'll talk about the Philadelphia 76ers, man, and uh, they've been having a great year this year, man, in my opinion. Uh, Doc Rivers, uh, they came there and, um, he done, he done changed things around, man. Them boys, them boys ain't playing the same way no more, man. They got some shooters on their squad. You got mm-hmm. Seth Curry, you got Danny Green. I mean, they, they picked up some guys, man, and that, that didn't help them. You know what I mean? They got Shake Milton coming out the bench. You got a Wood coming out the bench. You got Tyrese Maxey balling. Oh, I, 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 like this, I like this Ricky, man. He doing a good thing. They built to play ball. Yeah, they good, it's man. Uh, MB, uh, MVP candidate this year. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hard on MB, you know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not big on him. I think he out of shape. You know, I think come in the league. You know, I, I think he come, come, he come in out of shape all the time. You know, I just, just yeah. want him to get in shape, man, and, and to be their dominant force down low that yeah, I think he, he can be. He does typically fade towards the uh, end of the game, yeah. and towards the end of the season. Yeah, he because because their conditioning is an issue, and I think and it might come back to hunt him in, in the end. And I know that being Simmons shooting gonna come back to hunt him in the end. But I love being Simmons on defense, man. That man's phenomenal on defense. I can't say nothing negative about him on defense. He do his thing. Uh-huh. And his distribution, um, I mean, his passing is, is, is good. And Seth Curry, I'm a big fan of Seth Curry. Oh, my God. Seth Curry can shoot the daylight yeah. side of him, man. I remember. I don't know why they always let go of Seth Curry, man. You need shooting and you let go of Seth Curry. That don't make no sense. Um, and, and the lead, that was about to say in the lead now. Like, uh, you need shooters. Man, you need shooters. And I like when it be, it's like. And he one of the best of them. It's like. You know, it's, this is not like practicing or working out anymore. Nope. You're, you're trained to play the game. Right. You know, you go on the keep home. Big Macs. Yep. You can't you can't keep doing that shit, man. Nope. You, you you got enough money to get you a personal ship, man. Go ahead and do that, man. Take care of your body, man. Yep. So you can stretch your career. So you so your career be longer, man. Cause right. Your size, you can't carry that weight, man. The league, the league is about knees. up and down these days, man. It ain't you can't you can't just. You can all that pressure on the knee, man. You can't do that these right. days, man. You gotta get slim and trim, man. You gotta you gotta be able to run that flow. 
So you know what I mean? You gotta be able to guard them point guards out there on the pick and roll sometimes. You gotta be able to guard the two guards on the pick and roll sometimes. Yep. You can't always get help, you know what I mean? So I hope he got yeah, some money. We'll see what happens with Philly. I'm looking forward to him in the playoffs. I don't care about the regular season though with Philly. I want to see them in the playoffs. With yeah. the pressure on them. That one I want to see Ben Simmons and Embiid because they shown they can't they can't step up to that pressure. So hopefully Doc Rivers help him with that pressure. I'm not a big fan no, of Doc Rivers, especially the playoffs. Because Doc Rivers ain't gonna make no adjustments. You see what he did with Clippers last year? He's gonna sit there and fold his arms. He ain't gonna make no adjustments. He ain't gonna call no timeouts. He ain't gonna do nothing. He ain't gonna let them boys crash and burn. That, hey, that, he's telling you, he's gonna make no adjustments. He ain't gonna call no timeouts. He gonna let them boys crash and burn. That, hey, tell you, that, that's his mo. <laughs> That's what Doc Rivers do every year. I'm, 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 I'm actually sick of it. He said, uh, "You got to make adjustments, Doc." Man, and he wasn't making it with the Clippers. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I feel I, like I, just, I feel like with Doc, it's the same thing as if you transfer. He kind of like Phil Jackson, man. He, he lets you. Phil Jackson, he just gonna sit back. He ain't gonna call no time out. He gonna let you figure out your tip. I was about to say he, he kind of like Dan Quinn though. At the same time, where it's like, no, nah, it, it's your don't, don't, it's your fault, that, right? That, that, it, but you know, first of all, you talk football and basketball. Me yeah, and Dad Quinn has, 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 has not even won on championship. <laughs> yeah, real, but he's got a championship. Yeah, he got. I'm saying though, it, where it's like this is what I was about to get to. So where you go, oh, this is your fault. The team doing this, that, that, blah, blah, blah. So then both both people left. Like you know, Dan Quinn got fired. Doc got fired. Slash, yeah. he, he really was just ready to go anyway. You know, I feel like they called him and said you fired his yeah, stuff. Like, okay, okay. His stuff was already packed. <laughs> Actually, he probably had a job the next day. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, he went, he went, he went, went where to go. But it's like when I, I'm a fan, fan so I never forget. It's like Dan Quinn got fired, and they was like, oh, okay, well that was the problem. And then we blew all these other leads, and it's like they still playing the same way, basically. Right. So, but nah, you're right. You can't compare Dan Quinn to and Doc Rivers. No. Two separate sports, right. first of all, but. Just the uh, the pedigree of saying. coaching. I, I was just saying how you know they both got fired. They were both blamed for the organization. The and the both of them, they 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 well, Doc Rivers them blew two uh, three one leads. Yeah. And then you know you know what you know what your boy them blew. We ain't even gonna get into what your boy. <laughs> but uh, we are gonna move on to the uh, to the, the, the the Brooklyn Nets man. And I seen them last night man. Did you did you check that out? Uh, the triple double. The triple double. double. And 30 double. point triple double at that, and then you know KD, KD came KD, in KD, with his 40 KD points. Did what he did. And uh, speak, speak on KD a little bit, man. I'm proud of KD this year, man. He coming back from that Achilles, man. He looking real good, man. I, I feel like he get his shots a little bit easier now. I, I, I feel like he, he ain't doing as much. I had plenty of those. <laughs> uh, I think he, I think he just he getting his shots a little bit easier now. I feel like his 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 IQ is growing, and yeah. like. He, he know he know the court. He know he can get. He know his spots on the court. He know he know he can get a good shot off it. Right. He ain't so damn tall. He gonna shoot over everybody. I mean, you seven so, feet. Yeah, exactly. So, what, uh, he been doing pretty good. But what do you think about the hard trade in general, and how do you think that's gonna work out as far as the dribbling of the ball? I call them the dribble brothers. Yeah. The dribble, 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 yeah, dribble, 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 dribble brothers as far as Kyrie and Harden. So, I, I, me personally, I, I think Harden should be the point guard. Mm. And I think Kyrie should play off the ball because it's Harden hard. is a better assist guy. Yeah. Harden is leading the league in assists right now, and I think Kyrie can play off the ball because I see him play off the ball with LeBron. Sure. So it's it's possible he can do it. So what you think about that as far as them two handling the ball? I, we ain't worried about KD because no. KD KD can get his points other other ways. He'll catch and shoot. He's not he's not a dribbler. No. Those, those two are the dribblers. So right. those two are going to have the most hardest transition. First place I go with that is I go, uh, when is Kyrie coming back for that to be oh, a problem? Oh, he, he can come. Um, I already heard, uh, you know, beginning the beginning of next week. Okay. But so, he lost some money. That was dumb. He lost, I, yeah, he lost, he, he lost some he money. Has in this whole yeah, he, we, we not even going to get into those issues he that he has. Some help. We just hope. Uh, I, I, that used to be like my favorite player. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. I really hope he can get some help in return. Back to if you don't get that help, man, the Brooklyn Nets gonna help you out and void that contract and get you on the bottom there because yeah, they, they got hard. If you missing work and missing days of work, they got grounds to cancel your whole contract, bro. They can void your whole. They can void everything. They're saving say. them millions yes. of dollars. So, we're talking about millions of dollars. And players, players, play, ain't nobody gonna be able to help you with that. Ain't no, and Crip ain't gonna be able to help you with that. Nobody gonna be able to help you because you missing work for yeah. for, 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 for 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 reasons unknown. And so you, he quit. You ain't calling your it. boss, but you calling your teammate, letting them know you ain't gonna make it. Yeah, that, that's bad. Yeah, you got, you got, you got to let your boss know you ain't gonna make it. Work. And, and he's becoming unreliable. 
very unreliable. That's that's another reason they got Harden because they knew they can't count on him in the future. I actually, they they can do that. They can do it by themselves. They don't yeah. need that man. Mm -hmm. They don't need Kyrie. Kyrie is icing on the cake. They they can do that by themselves. Harden and KD can take 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 over the East by themselves if they want to. Right. But you know what I mean. Kyrie is just gonna bring that icing on the cake, and he's clutch. And you know what I mean. You know you know what he's gonna do. Like I said, he can't. But he can't, he can't do it by himself. So, and that's the thing. So I do like he, Joe Harris. I like I like you know DeAndre Jordan. I like uh, Jeff Green. They got some nice you know little role players around them too too. And that's that's even more. It's like why are you missing work when you got this team? You got this team that's ready to win me, right me first, now. I'm at home and I see Harden coming to my team. Right. I get excited when right. I go. Now I'm about to step up my game. I know Harden gonna at least go out there and put up points. Right. Every game. Right. It's gonna mess up his game. So. He gonna have to take. He, he third wheel. We all know who the third wheel is. Right. But uh, it, it's, it's not a secret. No. We we all know we, he ain't better than them two. So. Uh, and he can't even come in up to it with the attitude that he better than them two. You gotta come it, in. It, like I changed my like, life, man. He gotta come in to the to the tour with the eighteen points a game out too. Like, you gotta come in. Like, I think that average gonna go down to about eighteen points a game, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. I, I feel like. Uh, as, as the offense progresses, they're going to have to start taking more of a uh, Golden State type they can't. approach. They can But them guys ain't on the for like Golden State. Them, them, them guys need the ball in their hands compared, yeah. compared to Golden State. So yeah, yeah, they're they about to let KD Golden bring State. the ball on the court. Just no, 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 no. You let Harden do his thing at the point guard, man. Um, man. I think um, the Knicks going to be all right. I think the Knicks at least make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah. I'm not sure if they make it past that, but uh, if it, all right, I'll tell, tell you this. If you made me gamble on it right now, yeah. and who I'm taking in the finals right now, yeah. it's hurt my heart. Because you know these boys sitting right here, this hurt my heart. But I say uh, Nets versus Clippers in the NBA Finals. Clippers. We're going to the, we're gonna get into the Clippers in the West, when we talk about the West Conference, but right now I'm talking about East Conference. We're going we're gonna to talk about the Clippers, don't worry about it. Cause you know I'm, I'm big on the Clippers. You already know Kawhi Leonard, yeah, I, I was, I, my, I, I, my my guy, my favorite, my like favorite basketball player on the planet. Right. You know, it's my guy. So you know, I'm always right that's, on my guy. That's like the uh, it's the best two way player on the yeah. planet. Yeah, it's no 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 word. It's no nobody close. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we're gonna get into uh, the Hawks, man. What's the thing about you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's the start of the Hawks year and what's been going on? Because I hate that 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 uh, that Bowie got hurt. Right. Bob Donovan's. I hate, I hate that because they was they was rolling, they was starting to get get some chemistry, man, and, and you know they new teammates, so they need to they need to you know gel, you know yeah. what I mean. But I do like what I'm seeing out of uh, my, my 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 two my two young guys, yeah. my Hunter and, uh, and, and and your shooter or uh, Cam Reddish. Yeah. I do like what I'm seeing out of them. They growing up, man, and I like what I'm seeing out of John Collins. I think you need to go ahead and trade him for the trade deadline because I don't think he's resigning, man. I think he gonna he gonna get expensive. He already turned out a contract already, and I think he'll get more expensive as the year goes on. Yeah. I think you need to go ahead and get rid of that and go ahead and get something for him because I don't think he's going to this shit. With Atlanta, it's like, are you going to get something that's worth replacing him with? I think so, man. I think you can get some pieces for him. And I'm, then I'm not you already got Capella at the center, so I think you need to be playing a little bit more smaller right. and just put Capella at the center and then put somebody else at the power for him. Like a, like a little stretch for him. Because right now you're playing Collins at the power forward. And that's good and all, but, but he, you know what I mean? I, yeah. I think you need you need to be running a little bit more with that squad with, with Trey Young. I, Trey Young balling, by the way. He, man, always oh, like Man, phenomenal. Yeah. 30 points a game, unlimited, unlimited range. He just has no defense whatsoever. Probably. He, he too, he's really too small. Like, he got he got to work on uh, yeah, but, get some steals. Get some little whatever. strength and get, get in the passing lanes and get, get like, Steph Curry. Yeah, that's what he's going to have to do. Because Steph, even Steph got, got bigger and got some strength and, and started getting and, into the Steph is already bigger than Trey Young. He, so. of course. So, Naturally, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's going to have to do that. Steph, so. Steph that man. The Hawks, what the Hawks are becoming, and what I feel like they need to do is um, they're becoming that shooting squad. But as they you know, shoot, shooters can shoot. go shooters can go cold. Especially with Gallinari. Gallinari, he been doing pretty good too this year. So my thing is when shooters go cold, what are you gonna do then? Because they're they're undersized. Right. Already. Right. So I, you know, I, I, do you I just do you just live and die? Alright. I got them. I got them I got them number six seed in the East Coast right now. I think by the time of the season yeah, I think they'll be number six seed. Yeah. So I don't know where you got them landing. I don't know, like, what, 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 what you think? For at the end of the season, where you, where you got them in the playoffs? Where, where you got them? 
I mean, six, six, six is fine. I could go with six, but I, like I said, I always just have questions about them because uh, they stuff happens with them that you just don't see anywhere else. Right. So well, not, not, not a team, period. In general. I didn't want to say that. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I think this them and the Braves is about the about the best thing. Best oh, thing. Yeah. I'm a, <laughs> yeah. But I, I, we ain't gonna get into the Braves. I ain't gonna and, cry and, on camera. And, and, yeah, we ain't we gonna get into the Braves and and and, 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 and that, that, that 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 terrible loss against the the Dodgers. We gonna get into that, but we gonna get into. Uh, well, I think the Hawks gonna be a six seed, and I think they, I think they gonna be all right this year. Uh, but uh, we gonna get into the Heat, man. The Miami Heat, and they yeah. they started they struggling a little bit this year, man. But I I didn't look I, I didn't think they was gonna do much in the regular season. I, I expect them to do I more in the playoffs than the regular season. So I didn't expect much from them in the regular season. So I'm not really surprised. No. They're, they're a playoff team. I think they'd be for the playoffs, in my opinion. I mean, you got to get there first, though. They're going to get there. They're going to have they gonna have top five seed. They're, gonna get home, they're not going to get home court this year, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I think home court is going to be Celtics, Bucks, Sixers, and Nets. They're going to get that fifth seed. They ain't gonna, they, you can't get over them. You can't get over them top four. So. I don't think they, they built to them. No, no, they ain't built to Unless they just get hot. No. You know, at some point. I'm not ready to see the teams. So I don't expect for him to get out. But I like Tyler Hero. I like yeah. Duncan Robinson. Yeah. I like. I love Bam Adebayo. Uh, Jordan Gordon Dragic. They got a squad now. Jimmy Butler. I mean, great coaching in um, Air Sports, man. In my opinion, the best coaching in the NBA. Um, Air Sports. He's doing his thing. Great with it. X and O's, man. All right, we're going to get into this Western Conference right now, man. And as far as, like, the Western Conference, you know, you got the Lakers at the top right now. Yeah. Well, think about the Lakers and what they've been doing this season, and man, you know how they coming, how they kind of coming along with the new additions, and how they how they doing post championship. They they, they, they quest to repeat, which yeah. I don't think is gonna happen. But hey, yeah, we know. nah, I, I don't think LeBron wins no more championship for his career. But we 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 can get we can get into that. I, I feel like there, there's more there's more uh, competition around him, uh, around the Lakers. They, I, I feel they yeah, they got more competition, and I feel like they're a better team than they were last year with the additions that they made. Yeah. But I think Marcus All is going to be a liability in the playoffs. He's going to be, some, yeah, he's not going to be a plus. You, you can't play Marcus All basically in the playoffs, man, because he's going to come in there and get five fouls in the first quarter, and he's going to be done anyway. Yeah. So the man slow footed, he ain't. He, he it's about, it's about time to let it go. I said, they, uh, it depends on how you play. I think the big men were better last year. I think I, I take the veil and Dwight over the big men they got this year. Because, I mean, Trey is the only shit on defense. You already know it. So, so I, I, I agree with that with the big yeah, yeah. But like I said, with the Lakers, uh, they still got the main pieces that really count, which is going to be LeBron and AD. Right. So um, I'm not going to say they that I don't believe they'll re, the, uh, the two people. But when I when I look at when I look at what's around them, I, I say it's going to be uh, – I'm much you, think they, you think they can beat the Clippers, but you don't. You, do you think they can beat Brooklyn in a seven game series? I, I don't think LeBron want to see KD again. In the you don't want to see the Brooklyn, period. I, specifically KD. Yeah, specifically him. Because I, I always bring it up to the LeBron fans when. Uh, he don't want to hit. That's bad, right? Uh, yeah. That's bad, man. Like, you know, he was. We ain't going to get into The that. last time they played, uh, we ain't gonna get into that. he let Steph Curry. <laughs> Actually, uh, KD. the final record, yeah, yeah, KD got him 2 1. It's 2 1. Yeah. 2 1 on KD way. So, I mean, it's just. Yeah. And the, 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 the KD, the Braun beat, was a, he was a baby. Yeah. He, he, he was just getting started. That was the OKC uh, KD. Yeah, but so nah, he, nah, he don't want to. He don't want to. He don't want to. Well, so, we, we do agree on that. We don't agree on a couple, but we do agree that he don't want to see Brooklyn in right. the seven game series in the, in the NBA finals. Yeah. Yeah, he don't want to see that. But we'll move on to the uh, Clippers and the team that I got coming out of the West Conference, the Clippers. And they already done beat the Lakers already this year. That's true. Um, without Marcus Morris. Marcus Morris didn't play that game. And the Lakers, was, they, they was at full, full strength. They had all their players. So, I mean, it's no excuse. It's, so, early, I mean, early, it's early in the season. Early in the season. But every time they match up against them boys in the yellow and purple, you know what's going to happen. So I don't necessarily have uh, the Clippers 
getting knocked off by the Lakers. I feel like it's going to be. going to be somebody else? I think it'll, it'll just like, be somebody else. Just like last year? Yeah. yeah and I think that's, that's what to say the Lakers. That, just like they did last year. That's, what that's the, the only Lakers. way. That's the only way I can see the Lakers coming up out of the, coming up out of the West. If, right. if, if somebody knock out the Clippers first. Yeah. Just like last year. Yeah, that's just like how. Uh, so you ain't got to play. So you ain't, somebody knock you off, so we ain't going to play. Yeah. But that. Simple as that. That scenario might not happen this year because Clippers playing good in the regular season. If they get like a number two seed, then they'll meet in the West Coast Finals as opposed to meeting earlier in the second round or something like that. True. So, but, man, I got Clippers coming out of the West, man. I think they got better this year, man. Uh, I love the addition of Tyron Lue. Tyron Lue doing a great job this year, man. His adjustments are way better than Doc Rivers. He learned from Doc Rivers, but he made way more adjustments in the game than Doc Rivers. I think his players a lot of them to make adjustments also. They do. And Paul George is looking better with uh, Tyron Lue yeah. as opposed to with Doc Rivers. Yeah. He's getting them a lot more involved. I'm, I'm seeing a whole different Paul George. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing a uh, – long? But we, we ain't in the playoffs yet. I was a long time on the ball and we the ain't playoff the playoffs. team. <laughs> so so I, I just I just leave that leave yeah. that up in the air until he showed me in the playoffs that he can, that he can do it. But right now he's looking real good with Tyron Lue, and I love the addition of Serge Obaka as opposed to man. Harold at the big man position because Harold was getting his ass did consistently <laughs> by Joe. Man, I man, I was looking at Doc Rivers like, why is this man on the court? Can we get anybody in the game? So so like because no, is, is getting did every time. No. And I, I, I would be offended if I was on that bench because it's like you got to look at the way he was getting done and he's, you got to go, Doc Rivers. He's abusing you. He's abusing us. And, and, and you got to go, Doc Rivers either said, I quit a long time ago or I don't think there's anybody better. I on feel like Doc Rivers felt like I'm going to ride with the boy that got me here. You know what I mean? But you can't do that. You, you can't, can't do when that. When your boy get exposed like that, you got to get his ass up out that game, man. man. You call him sitting on the bench. And you got to. I, Put anybody out at that point, yeah. because he is a liability on defense. He continues to be a liability on defense. The Lakers even hide his ass on defense. Yeah. So I mean, we already know what time it is with Trez, and when it when it comes to playing decent big man, if he go against any big man in the playoff, they gonna abuse him. So I mean, that's just that's just a liability right there. And I'm glad they got rid of that cancer that was in the locker room. Because they needed to get rid of that so they can get Serge Ibaka. And Serge Ibaka is bringing it on the defensive end. And he can stretch it out all the way to the three. Man, he can pop that three, too. So, I like what Serge Ibaka is giving him. I, I and I like uh, Nicholas Batum. He, doing, he giving us some good minutes. And Marcus Morris, that dog, you already know. That. Don't nobody want that. Man. They're probably the number one dog in the league. Both, both of them, those are like two two people in the NBA where you like. Yeah, don't. Yeah, uh, don't, uh, you don't want to smoke. Uh, yeah, leave him alone. You know, just leave him alone. Just, Griffey you know, getting mad. Don't, yeah, just, just don't don't get him mad. Don't <laughs> leave him alone. Give him some dogs. Yeah. Some, that's some, that's some shit you don't. Nah, I think that's something that they needed. Right, that, right. They that, that tough. Yeah, yeah. They well, they got it. they got it. Marcus Morris is a beast, man. Uh, we're gonna move on to the Phoenix Suns, man. And uh, what you think about them, man? I I I was high on them from the beginning of this year, and I'm still high on them. I think they're gonna finish number three seed in the play, um, you know, in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the year, I think they're gonna be number three seed. I think they're the third best team in the, in the West Coast. I like them, man. I'm loving the addition of Chris Paul. I like the young guys they got on that squad, man. Yeah. They, I mean, they they gelling at the right time. I love, I love Booker. Booker, he gets set up right now. You know, Chris Paul putting them all in the right spots. You know, he getting the ball, he getting getting the ball to him all in the right spots, man. He getting he getting Aiden the ball. I just want Aiden, man, to, to get in the post a little bit more, man, because he's shooting too many jumpers. He's too, too damn big. He's shooting on the jump. But uh, other than that, man, I ain't, I ain't really got too much to say about it. Phoenix, man. They they doing a good job. They going hold. Just keep I, it up. I, I, great I, coaching too. Money, money. What are you doing? You doing a great job. I can't say I would I wouldn't put them top three, but who well, you got over? No, 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 that's what I'm saying. You gonna take you gonna take Dallas over them? You gonna take Denver over them? I said I, 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 didn't, I didn't give it much thought, but then, that's what I'm but now I'm saying I'm like yeah, because the addition of Chris Paul changes that because he's somebody that like you said he can set up everything. I think they he's guarantee, got veteran. Guarantee he gets the second round. This year. He's not selfish, right? So it's like you know he, he's gonna he gonna set up, see everything, he like. You know, so I feel like that's gonna make their offense way more efficient to where it's not just Devin Booker. And you, you brought up a good point. I, I didn't think of it like that. So yeah, that's something they need to look out for. Right. I feel like that's something the other teams. Look Phoenix Suns doing their thing, man. I, I, I mean, I can't, can't, can't say no more about Phoenix Suns. They, they on the rise. 
Yeah. We're gonna get into the Trailblazers, man. What you like about the Trailblazers? And you know what I mean? Dame Lillard, you know what I mean? Oh, oh, he don't wanna see Stella. Dame do not wanna <laughs> see Stella. Y'all all that talk. No Steph heard that shit. Not, not no more. Steph heard that shit y'all was talking. Well, damn. Hey, he came and broke broken. business and did that ass too. <laughs> hey, hey, that, that watch was broke against Steph one. Hey man, Steph showed y'all who the best point guard in the league was, man. Yeah, he had to show y'all again, man. Come on, this man ain't, hey, hey, this man ain't fell off none, man. This man got hurt. This man, I mean, come on, man. Y'all start disrespecting my boy. He had to show y'all what time it was. I'll say the, the trouble is always be dangerous just because of uh, Damian Little, CJ McCollum, and you know, they got Melo. But my thing is, did they get any better than last year? Nah, well, they got Robert Covington. They helped him a little bit. But that, nah, they ain't get, they ain't get too much. Better. Right, so I don't think they make a, a bigger push. Nah. Yeah, so. Nah, they, 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 they're actually going. They, they, they need to make a trade, actually. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of that whole story. <laughs> that, they, keep, they keep going going with that score. They, they yeah. ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, I'm sick of it, actually. Yeah. They got to do something big, but it can't, it can't just be we just want to make a big trade. It has right. to be something uh, substantial. Substantial. It's going to help you out. Yeah, but or, or, if it doesn't, do you have to make a bunch of little things right. that support your your top players? Right. Things that set them up better. They ain't, so, they ain't took the money. He could have he could have went somewhere else and won a championship. They ain't took the money, man. He know he, he, he know he don't win nothing in the yeah. But he know he don't want none of that stuff. He don't want none of that. So you know, Dame Lillard, you don't want none of that stuff work. So so so, so just 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 keep it quiet on that stuff. Cause you don't. He learned his lesson. He learned a lesson. Yeah. Uh, well, a lot of people. Everybody learned, learned a lesson. lesson. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? Hey, you know, Steph, that man. Steph, the best point guard in the league. Actually, Steph is my number two greatest of all time point guard. I got him right behind Magic Johnson. So I mean, Steph, Steph is a bad man. Yeah. Yeah, Steph is add, he, he only he added to that resume. He best shooter of all time. He's still playing, so he added to that resume. He got. But we're gonna move on to uh, the Dallas Mavericks, man. I know uh, poor Zingas done got back. He been playing pretty good since he got back from that injury, man. Uh, I think they're gonna be all right, man. As as poor as Ingers get get back right with, yeah. with, with Luca. Luca, I was about to say. I, I think they're gonna be all right when playoff time. Yeah, I think they're gonna be ready. I expect. Yeah, actually, they were ready last year. They did a good, good job against Clippers last year in the playoffs. I expect, they I expect them to to, uh, to pick up where they left off almost. Right, especially in the playoff. Yeah, they expect. Right, especially in the playoff. They they did good in the playoff. So, I mean, Dallas, Dallas, man, Rick Carlisle, good coaching. Yeah. I mean, doing a pretty good job, man. Just, I just want y'all to keep it there, man, and keep keep going, man. Keep, keep going in the right direction. But we're going to get into the Denver Nuggets next. Um, I, I mean, uh, I like Denver Nuggets, man. I think they shouldn't let go of Jeremy Grant. That was a big deal. Um, I mean, you should have you did whatever you had to do. Just keep Jeremy Grant there because defensively, he's, he's going to give you what he, you know I mean, give you great effort on defensive end. And, Right now with Detroit, he averaged 20 points a game. So I mean, he he knew he wanted a bigger role. So he went to Detroit. He went. He they all offered him the same money, but he knew he he wanted a bigger role in the offense. So he went to Detroit. But y'all should have found a way to kept him. It, that, that would that would have been great because you need somebody to defend these small fours. You need yeah. somebody to defend the LeBrons and the Kawhi Leonard's. That, that was my Bruins. process. So who who do y'all think who is going to step up Especially to, to to replace him? Because Michael Porter, he ain't ready. He he he, no. he, he can't play defense worth shit. He, he can't keep can't keep him on the court if he can't play defense. So I mean, they, they actually need to be trying to trade him for a, a nicer piece. Yeah. Uh, Harden would have been a good piece to trade for him. Yeah, that's one of the things I was surprised a, a lot more teams didn't. Well, get, we don't know get, get the, the, the background. Get, get in on, get in yeah, on the Harden yeah. sweet states, yeah. But I mean, I would have liked to see a team like that get Harden. But Denver, man, they just I feel like they let go a little bit too much talent in the off season. Yeah. And I feel like they, they just think they're going to pick up where they left off, and I think it's, it's not going to be like that. And it's, I, it's, it's not. It's, I, I'm looking, it's looking at like a second-round exit right now. For that, was, that was a wonder. I'm like, who are y'all replacing these better. people with? Right. They, they, didn't, they, didn't, they just didn't get better. Man. I, I, they, they expect to get better from within. They, they expect it to, for, for, for Murray to take another jump, even though he took a jump last year. They, they expect him to take another jump into that superstar jump. He's not a superstar. He's an all-star. But and then they expected Porter Porter to give him Porter, Porter Jr. to give him a lot more. Right. But he hasn't he's still terrible on defense and they can't play him. So I mean we're gonna move on from the Denver, Denver Nuggets, man. That's enough about the Denver Nuggets. But we're gonna get into my boy. John Morant came back last night, man, with a vengeance. Uh Memphis Grizzlies. Man, I love me some John Morant, man. I can't say enough about this guy, man. He, he's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. He's TV. I, I, can't, I can't miss a John Morant game. If John Morant on TV, I got to watch. I remember I, got, I originally got upset because it was like, oh, John Morant's better than Trey Young. And I'm like, 
Man, and I went back and watched. And I was like, well. He get more effort on defense, and he, he going to dunk, and he can shoot, but he can't shoot like Trey. He, he, I would say so. You give you you would give Trey the shot. I trade Trey 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 better player period right now. Yeah okay okay. Right. But I, I think you, you eventually shoot, John would be a better player. Overall, I was saying overall. Yeah, overall player John, 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 John is that man. Right. Now, hey, there ain't too many point guards I'm putting over John. Actually, John would be right up there with Dame and stuff real soon. Yeah. He he's heading in that direction, man. And and right. keep going, man. Keep doing your thing, man. Because every time I see you on TV, man, you booming on somebody. I mean, like you just got that, you just got that dog up in you. You know what I mean? I always mean when it's somebody I like just right. head, head just a dog. Head yeah, I, I love him. I love him, man. I'm, I, I love man. Oh, all right, John Morant or Zion Williamson, man. Please, who you rather have, man? Both of them came out in the same draft. John, I'm taking John Morant all day. It's, it's not even a question. And Zion has done has done. Has well. he done anything since, since he's been here? Anything. But like. He, first of all, you started off missing with half a season. Man, Ja and and them Zion don't compare, man. I'm taking John Morant all day, man. Zion hasn't shown me nothing in the league so far, man. So what I mean, like he's not gonna make the playoffs again this year. So I mean, like I mean, Ja will be in the playoffs this year. He's you know that. I mean, I don't know exactly what. He's not even the best player on this team. I take Brandon Ingram over here. Man, he's not. He's not. I, Brandon Ingram, Ingram is the best player on this team. Okay. So I'm not, I'm but not, I was about to say he he's not going to be able to carry the team by himself anyway. So especially they, they, not, I think they're waiting on more pieces. Especially not at 300 pounds, so big ass. He's not me. He said he's 285. And he Shh, goes some, that's he goes a damn water. lie. He look like three three bills, three fifteen bills every time I see you. He built, but like once again, on the knee, they're wearing tail on the knee. How long you gonna last? They're gonna catch up. Cause gonna you jump, you jumping out the gym. Out the gym with, I mean, you, you gotta lay down. <laughs> yeah, you gotta yeah, play <laughs> consistently on the knee. It ain't gonna, it ain't, it ain't gonna be pretty. I, I, I really think he's gonna have a short career. I don't think it's gonna last long. Man. I, I hope not. It looking like an eight year career to me, man. man. I, I, it just don't look, it don't it, look that good. Like, I mean, you ain't, you won't push away from the dinner table, and you won't get better as far as or, or your old, overall game as a as a power forward in the NBA. You need to, you know, you know, get some Draymond skills up on on the defensive end. You know what I mean? You need to. You need to just give a little bit, you need to be more versatile on offense, you know, develop some more post moves or develop yeah. something to where they can just throw the ball to you and you can get it best. Uh, I mean, but like, yeah. he hasn't shown me that he right. can just, well, What I feel like right now is with that athleticism that he does have, he's relying on that. What I'm hoping is he'll do like a lot of things. Get some skills. Right. Over time, he'll develop that skill set. I just see do bulldoze no people. Well, well, it's been a short career so far. Yeah. So we, sure. by, by next year, we don't know. By next season, we might be like, but he didn't, oh, he didn't go from last year, in my opinion. So we'll, we'll see well, how that, it goes. That wasn't even a full year. It, so was, it wasn't. We'll see, man. I'm, I'm not a big yeah. fan. I'm not a fan at all in that guy. But uh, that's going to end our NBA topics, man. We're going we're gonna to get into the NFL now, man. NFL playoffs, man. Mm-hmm. What you think about the Bills over? Uh... Yeah, we're gonna start off the NFL topics, man, and uh, we're gonna start off with wild card weekend of the NFL playoffs. So we're gonna start off with the Bills over the Colts. That was a twenty-seven to twenty-four game. I watched that game. It was a pretty good game, man. I also watched. Um, I mean, what you think about the Bills, man? I, I got the Bills going to the Super Bowl. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. The bill, the Bills' only competition is going to be the Kansas, Kansas City, and it's going to be and they go, it's going to be who's going to score the most points. Right, right. It's going to be next week. We don't see. It's going to be a good game. And I want it to be the Chiefs, but the Bills got a better defense. They do. So it's like can Kansas City, but like I said before, Kansas City defense is not the best, but they do step up. They're a bend don't break. So then I go, who? Who who's gonna who got the home who got the home field who, who got, got the better field, quarterback who gonna make the least amount of mistakes coaching. yeah who gonna make the least amount of mistakes and all that and so you know cause I know uh, listen uh, right. Shannon if 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 if, if you told me to put money on, I'm putting on, I'm putting money on the Chiefs a bit if you tell me to pick it I'm putting I'm, I'm picking the Bills no so your heart with the Bills can't say my heart because I don't like the Bills <laughs> <laughs> but like I'm just saying I just like that mojo that they got going right now. I just like that team camaraderie that they got going yeah. right now. You need that this time of year. I mean, like when you talk about Stephanie, they Diggs close, they they real Sasha, close, and they they best friends, right? And they tight, and that's uh, tough. Yeah, it's that's tough. tough because uh, we gonna see, man. It's gonna be a good game. That's that's a game. Uh, Philip River did his thing, man. Uh, 
Hopefully he come back next year, man. Yeah. He still got a little bit more juice in the tank. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, 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 I figured the Colts would put up a fight, but they I did. didn't think they, they, they had a good fight enough to firepower to get him over the hump. To get, yeah. Right. It made some mistakes, man. Just a few mistakes, man. It was a three point, three point game, man. You don't like lose games like that, especially on the road, but hey, it is what it is. They lost, man. But we're going to get into uh, Lamar Jackson. It's his first playoff win of his career, man, yeah. against the. Who, uh, Lamar, Lamar Jason. Oh, he was tight. Yeah, yeah tight last week. So, what do you think about Lamar and his growth in as a quarterback in the National Football League? And uh, what you think about the future of Lamar Jackson, man? Because I'm just glad he got his first playoff win off, right. off you know what I mean? Because he needed to get that monkey off his back. I don't think it's necessarily gone, that, that monkey. You know? it, I mean, the, the playoff monkey gone. But is it? Yeah. But, yeah. Is I mean, it really? you, win, you win one playoff game, you, you got a playoff monkey. Okay, okay. Yeah, so he, he good. He just got to make that next step as far as get to the AFC Championship and stuff like that. If so, he gets to the AFC Championship next year, then he's moving in the right direction. That's true. So, so I'll go with the uh, Ravens versus Titans. So that game wasn't even about the quarterback. Well, it was. It was, it was, it was, it was about right can you game. stop Derrick Henry? Right. And they did. I didn't they trust Tannehill to carry that team. Nah. And they did he actually happen. made a mistake at the end of the game, man. A.J. Brown was wide ass open and he was not get Right from the jump the jack. Like, yes, yeah, jump the jack. Please, please, and please throw me the ball. And you threw it over here when, when A.J. Brown over here. And I, I was just looking at that little man like, oh my lord. You but, like, you can't make that mistake. Right. But, I, but that's what I think. So that's one of them times where if you you the coordinator, you go, Tanner Hill, you got to beat me. We're going to, we, we, we put the eight in the box. We put the eight in the box. That's what they did too. And so, but that, that's what I, that's how I feel about that one because I didn't have any doubts on him. So with his growth as a quarterback, so I, I'm rooting for uh, Lamar Jackson. Like I really am. But you don't, between, see, you don't see no progression between him and Greg Roman. I see some progression. I just, I just feel like he throw, he throw in the middle of the field. He don't, he don't, outside. Like he need to be using Hollywood a lot more, man. I, I think yeah. Hollywood got a lot of talent, man, yeah. and he just getting wasted with the ball more. Yeah, I, I, I feel like that playoff game, they, they try to use him a little bit more, but like y'all need to be featuring this guy like Tyreek Hill or some shit. Yeah, because this guy the, has the that type of talent. It should be designed to get him open. Hollywood, yeah, yeah, it's like, it should be on Hollywood. Now, it, they, they, that first that's option, number one read. They, they, first read, they first read in the passing game is Andrew, that tight end. And they gonna do it that tight end every time instead of getting. Hollywood need to be the number one. Then Andrew. Right. They got the shit backwards. They do. And so I like J.K. Dobbins in the backfield. He doing a good job. Yeah, he, he does a great job. But I feel like he regressed as, as in Lamar Jackson. Right, but I don't think he regressed. I just think he stayed the same. I don't think he got, I don't think he got better. I, I, for one, I feel like the, the lead got used to him, which is what always happened. They did. So he took the lead by surprise because everybody was like, oh, he, he's just going to be another Vic. And he showed, you know, he can do what he can do. Yeah. But not that actually, I think he's better than Vic. Yeah. Well, yeah, overall, because I'll back, take, back I'll, when I'll Vic was more, playing, take more my Vic. Vic didn't take playing serious. You know, Vic was like he did, but I just I just look at both players and I just see a better player than Lamar Jackson in my opinion. I mean, it's just, it's just me. I, the only thing I question with Lamar Jackson is his throwing of the ball, and I don't know whether that's well, both, of them, both of them had those issues, right? But Vic, Vic's thing was like Vic never learned to read coverages. Accuracy, accuracy too, yeah. Right, but you know he had a, he had a baseball. Arm. He could have went and played baseball. Yeah, he he had a strong arm. It just if he can't get it to the target, it ain't uh, right. What's the no, issue? But then also when Vic first started playing, the only person to catch the ball was uh, Andre Crumper. Yeah, but Roddy White drop. Yeah, but you know nah, we gonna, we we not gonna make this. this no, we gonna, no, 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 no. We gonna we gonna, we gonna keep like talking about Lamar. I just, I just wanted to ask you about who you think. I mean, I know we talking about Travis Henry um, and, and against the Ravens, but I just wanted to get your opinion on who is the best running back in the National Football League. Who who, who you got? Um, so this past season, I, I say you have to give it to Derek. This guy, you got two K. You know, I see what you're saying, you, you but, not, but overall, if you talking about who you, you know, take, terms who you season, take? I, I'm gonna take that boy in Minnesota. I'm taking that boy in Minnesota. I'm taking I'm taking that one Cook. <laughs> We on the same, we on the same boat. Yeah, that man's phenomenal, man. He can catch it, he can run it. I'm glad he got paid this year, man. He, I mean, he, he worked for every penny, man. Dalvin Cook, best running back in the league, in my opinion, man, doing this thing, man. Mm -hmm. Catching that ball, running that ball. The whole offense is built around him. He getting Justin really Jefferson sure open, like, on the play action, man. He helping yeah. Kirk Cousins out. He helping Adam Thielen out. I mean, like, Dalvin, Dalvin's that man, man. I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't got nothing negative to say about Dalvin, man. So. 
Um, what about your best wide receiver at this point? Who 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 is the best wide right. receiver in the National Football League? Right so we just seen the show that Devontae <laughs> Adams put on last night. Uh, in my opinion, the best receiver in the league, Devontae. I said it's, it's between him and Stephon Diggs. Uh, you ain't gonna take. You ain't gonna take. I'm gonna need you to pick one. Devontae Adams. Okay. Devontae Adams. Okay. Um, just because he does have he does have a better quarterback, but. But I, I, I actually feel like them quarterbacks on the same level, man. I ain't gonna go that far. Uh, uh, hey, uh, Josh, Josh Allen, he up there. He, he's had a great year. He MVP, he, 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 he MVP candidate. The MVP candidate, he had a but great year. But the MVP is on the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers. Without a doubt. Yeah. And that's, doubt. that's who Devontae's quarterback is. Like, even even with 2K, if they gave it to Derrick Henry, I'd be like, Aaron Rodgers got robbed again. Right. So. It's Aaron Rodgers, MVP. Um, right, of course. Devontae, we, we, we I, I'll him. say Devontae Adams the best wide receiver just because what he's able to do. When he got that wiggle in his heel. He can run routes. Man, and, I'm talking about. And first five yards, like, you, he can't jam him. Like, he, he getting out he getting out the jam. If, if you try to jam him, you, you done. Yeah, you done. You don't miss. Like, yeah, you, you, don't miss. Miss. you might want well to play him on five yards. You yeah. might want well to give him five yards. Give him that five yards. Give him the hitch. Give him the hitch. Yeah. May, maybe you make the tackle. I don't no, think he's that, definitely not going to get over the I, top. I think, I think he's one of the best wide receivers when you talk about right after the catch where, like, he'll, he'll catch a short route and he hit that little spin. You know, he might fake that yeah. way. Go to yeah. And it's like you know what's coming right. and you still can't stop it. And, and he's got his better and, and, and y'all that be catching him, but he he he's phenomenal, man. I'll take right. him over anybody. And um and, and my top three this year would be DeAndre Hopkins, Always. Devontae, and then Stephon D. Yeah. That's my top three this year. I just wanted to get your opinion on the top top running backs and the top wide receivers, man. We're gonna move on into the Bucks versus Washington and um the wild card matchup that they had, uh, Tyler Heineke, that, that Heineke guy, that 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 guy looks pretty good. He played. He, look, he played pretty damn good. He, he, he surprised. Over overachieved, but yeah. He, and, I mean, he did the best he could. Yeah. I mean, well, I, so I, that, I that defense this. in Washington, that that's a, that, they always gonna play. Right. That front four gonna always be there because yeah. Chase Young, you a beast, man. That man came in the league, man, just beast, man. It's a rookie. I, you know what I mean, that man's phenomenal. I, I don't want to say overrated, but uh, you don't think you think Chase Young overrated? I well, no, I don't think he's over it. I think he's overhyped or something. I wouldn't say overhyped, but he was a pro bowler this year, too. He ain't overhyped. He, he's phenomenal. He's a pro bowler, but I'm saying you're a he's, pro bowler with, what was it, seven and a half? Seven and a half, but you're real. And he do more. You got to think about the run. He, he, start, he, start, he, 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 might, he might help more in the run. Okay, yeah, he, he, does, he does play. He yeah, play. so, I mean, he's phenomenal now. He's I, I don't like... I have no complaints about him in that sense. You just, think, he, you just think you just think you just think they put too much too much. I think he's too much. Very, very, like I said, I think he's very hyped up. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Well, he's he's been hyped up since Ohio State now. Right, that's true. So too. I mean, you can't yeah. really. I don't, I don't think the hype that went further than that since he's been in the league is just he gonna be a hype. He gonna be a double digit yeah, guy I, every I, year. I yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't uh, see the uh, J.J. Klein out of out of, out of this guy. Oh no 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 no! no. I was I wasn't trying to say that. I think that's how I came off. Nah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Javon came in with that hype, and then when he got to the league. He wasn't getting double digit sacks. Nah. So I mean, they they was hyping him up off a tackle. Right, right, right. So we're gonna get into uh, my Steelers, man, and that debacle that we had against uh, the Cleveland Browns. Uh, we just gonna start off in the first quarter, man, and that, <laughs> that snap, man. That was it. That pouncy head, that that bad snap. It, it went downhill from there. Cause after that bad snap, being through two interceptions, yeah. and and I mean like. We were down here for that. Ben ended up with 500 passing yards for that game because we were just trying to get back in. We were just trying our best you know, to do everything. We can't run the ball at that point. We can't. We ain't been able to run the ball all year. That's why we need we need some we need some help in the running back spot. Jane Connor, you got you got to go. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, we need we need uh, Najee from Alabama, or we need Travis Etienne from uh, Clemson. Yeah, I need one of them running backs to be on my roster next year. Find out a way to make that happen, uh, please, because we need one of them guys. Uh, we got a new offense coordinator coming next year. We're going to have to do something. That, that's the big one. I think that's what y'all need more than Right, anything. right. But, and we're going we gonna to do something about We're going to do something about being too. I wouldn't mind having Alabama quarterback to replace him, too. Uh, uh, Matt Jones? Yeah, I wouldn't mind having him. So, I mean, if we can get somebody young like that to replace me and eventually, man, I, I need that also. That's so a lot. I, I think we need to be rebuilding. I think we can get one of them in the first, and I think we can get one of them in the second. 
Okay. I think Travis Etienne will be there in the second. Najee might go in the first. You never know. Yeah. But I know that quarterback probably will go in the first. So we might have to get that quarterback at the end of the first. We at 24. We got 24 people. I, I feel like, and Ben coming back this year? Yeah, well, he kind of he, he guaranteed thirty million dollars. <laughs> yeah, he, so, he, he, ain't, he ain't turned that down. Yeah, so nah, he he'll be back. I ain't even worried about that. I agree with you. Uh, uh, I don't think he that's that's do. Do I want him back? That's the that's the question. Do I want him back? What you said? No, no, I don't want him back at all. Then clear. This is what this is what I think y'all should do. This is what I think would be smart. So I don't even think y'all have to get a running back in the first round. We or, we, we need one in the first or second. I don't think I think I think we need one in the second. We need Travis into you. Okay. Okay, so I'll give you that. So, so you get you get your running back in the first round, right? Second. Second round. Yeah, we get the quarterback in the first. We get the quarterback at dumb twenty four. If y'all if y'all can look up and get that. I think I think it's possible. Go ahead and go with it. I think it's very possible. But I think y'all have other holes on y'all team that can be well, filled also. I think those holes could be filled by health. Because we we yeah, had a true. lot of injuries yeah. this year. Yeah. De- main two injuries, Bud Dupree ACL mm. and Devin Bush ACL. So the middle linebacker and the outside linebacker, and that outside linebacker was a Pro Bowl outside linebacker. That's true. Bud Dupree was going to be a Pro Bowl this year, hands down. He was going to get double digits set. He's going to be a Pro Bowl this year. And Devin Bush is growing as a middle linebacker. He, he's going to be phenomenal. That's true. I'm, I'm questioning how he's going to come back out with his ACL, man. Good luck, man. I wish you the best, man. But the ACL is going to be a hard injury to come back from, especially at the middle linebacker position. But I believe in you, Devin Bush. I think you'll come back, though. But... Uh, we just I, let we just let we just let the Browns out. We just let the Browns come come and take over, man. With that running game, they ran uh, down our throat. Or then they they number one cheerleader uh, that play wide receiver so, for yeah, your team Juju. also helped fire them. Up. He did, he did, he did. But I mean, I'm I'm not gonna blame Juju for everything, man. I know a lot of people is, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it all on Juju. That, oh, well, here's the thing though. So scratch all the Juju stuff. You go, you take away. Half of those turnovers that was committed in the right, we probably win. And when it was 35 to 23, Mike Tomlin, oh my lord, it was fourth and one, and we did not go for it. It is 35 to 23. We about to go home if we don't convert this fourth and one. Yeah, please go for it. Don't punt the ball. We in the fourth quarter. We need this right now. So when, as soon as he put that ball, to ran that shit down our throat and scored a touchdown. And it was over from that point. And, and that's always uh, – I'm fourth and one, you always take that. You, well, you got, in, the play, always, in, the, in the playoffs, when you're back against the wall and we down and we coming back and we showing we can move we can move down the field on these guys, yeah. all we need is to keep keep the momentum going and we could have had a chance in that game. Yeah, I, I was confused by it because I go, okay, that's a move you make when you go, oh, I have no, no doubt my defense will get a stop. And get well, the ball back. Yeah. Which was, was they were playing better towards yeah. the end, but, but I'm like, you don't trust them that much. No. Yeah, no. But, matter of fact, by that same standard, I go, oh, my defense give me back the ball, that make that stop. We're going for it. Right, we're going for we're it. We're going for it. We, we, we gotta get it right now. So so, I, so yeah, that, that Mike Tomlin, he that was terrible coaching on that on that on that on that play right there, man. We should have went for it. Uh, I know, I know. He's looking back on that play and like, I, I should have went for it. But yeah, nice. Too late. He, he, too late. The TV has not turned on his house. Nah. No radio. Uh, I, I, he, he phone need, off. He, he need to be scouting for this draft right now. He need to be scouting quarterbacks and running backs. I need both of them in the first two rounds. Please get it because we need to make a progression in this rebuild and we need to rebuild fans. It don't need to be a gradual rebuild. It need to be a one or two year rebuild. We need to be back in in contention. Yeah, obviously they they're not. Y'all not lacking enough for it to be a massive rebuild. Right. We just need we need we need a few young guys to come in there and help us out this up. Right. Um, we're gonna we'll move on to the Saints and the Saints versus the Bears. Um, they took care of the Bears. Uh, I wasn't expecting much out of the Bears. I'm, I'm I really was hoping the Arizona Cardinals got that playoff spot as opposed to the Bears because I wanted to see Kyle Murray in the playoffs. But Kyle Murray to get the job done. I was, I was I had high hopes for him this year. Arizona uh, I feel like this year was a stepping stone for them. Yeah. So Chicago, I, I, Chicago, they still ain't got no quarterback. Uh, no. I, I think um, they'll they'll let go of Trubisky. Um, I, um, I think they'll get a veteran to come in there next year. Somebody like a, I, I tell you, it would be good for him. Cool. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yeah. I, I feel well. I feel like there's gonna be um, not an abundance, but I feel like there's gonna be a few options out there for them. Right. Just between free agency and, and, and young quarterbacks also. Right. So, I, oh, this is a perfect scenario for them. 
Go get that quarterback from uh, from Delaware, from the from from Carson Wentz School. Mm-hmm. That little short boy. Go get him. Mm-hmm. Go go get him, and then go get go get Ryan Ryan Fitzpatrick, and then let him mm-hmm. groom. Yeah. Let him groom him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because you can get him in the second round. I think you can get that quarterback in the second round. So I think that's a good plan for Bears. Yeah. Because they, they don't have a bunch of holes. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, they don't. They, 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 they defense, they defense for the most part, set. They need that quarterback. They need, they need they, that they need, they need, they need, well, the quarterback is the most important um, position on the field. So it's like, if you don't have a quarterback, there's not too many ways you can win in the league. Right. Like but, except, so that's they, that's their problem. As far as Saints. 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 I'm on the, got like two more ones. I'm gonna get into this Rams versus Seahawks game, man. Uh, that's a division opponent that they had, and uh, they 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 just didn't they just didn't step up. You know what I mean? They just step up over the Rams. Yep. I mean, I mean, uh, they they ain't they ain't, they weren't ready for that. That was too much. Uh, yeah, that was, that was too much. I mean, cause uh, they Rams had a number all year in the playoffs. Not not only that, but uh, the Seahawks, the team, it was. Russell Wilson has to play out of his mind or they're gonna lose. And so the the Rams are built to beat the Seahawks right now. In the sense of They match a real, real, real. I mean physicality. They, they, I mean everything. Jalen Ramsey oh, if, if he isn't DK Metcalf let, let me be, oh DK DK Metcalf. You don't wanna see Jalen, period. DK Metcalf they, they, is the receiver or his type of receiver is the receiver. Perfect, perfect that, receiver that, that, for, for Jalen Ramsey. He 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 had a problem with, with receivers that got wiggle in their hips. Yeah. You know, guy like, that's gonna be guy everything. like Justin Jefferson. You yeah. know what I mean? Some some guys was exactly. He he had a problem with them guys. Yeah. But them guys, them big guys, them physical guys that try to get physical straight with straight you, you yeah. can't get physical with a physical cornerback. I mean he people don't realize Jalen Ramsey is a big. big. Boy. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why they keep forgetting that. Like yeah. this, this is not. Uh, and and they forced they forced that. You know they forced that, that screen pass to him and, and he ended up getting picked off pick six. They were forcing the ball to Metcalf and Metcalf got on got on the sideline and started screaming for the ball. Nah. I mean, cause like they they started forcing it to him. That was Russ. Russ man, Russ. Russ this year, Russ. They, 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 they let Russ cook this year, but he he burnt he burnt the meal up. Uh, it, it was a lot. Them it was like, was like, man, come on, yeah. man. I, hey, I love me some Russell Wilson. Me too. But man, them interceptions, man. Uh, it hurt my feelings. I had Russell uh, better than Pat Mahomes at one point. I was like, bro, the way I got him right behind. Yeah, I got him right behind. But now I don't know. Um, not that I feel like oh, it's a guy that bad. It's a guy that bad. them now. Yeah. So it's like it's not. Yeah, that have you, put, you put a few few guys on. They, they just outplay him, and it's right. like it's not fair to Russell in a sense. Uh, uh, Running game is questionable. Good, they, they'll have a good game, but you don't really have a running game. Yeah, Carson cost pretty good. Yeah, it, the running back and, and the wide receiver was. But your line, he ain't no tight end or shit, and his line no, always, no tight his end, line no always line. been questionable. And then you but, enter the wide division. receiver doing their thing. Tyler Lock and Metcalf doing their thing. Yeah, game. but then you in a division where you got some of the best pass rushers in the league. Right. And you, and you, you got to see, you got to see Aaron Donald twice a year. Best, and your best, 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 best defense player period in the league. So I mean, yeah, you gotta face him twice. So I mean, so what are you so do you combine that? You got a perennial inside pass rusher with a shutdown corner. What does what he what does he love to do? Yeah, right. So I, it's it, gonna it, be a bad matchup period for the rest. I mean, see y'all, see y'all gotta like they gotta they gotta figure out what it takes yeah. to beat the Rams. They gotta they gotta go in the draft and start picking guys to. Yeah. To beat the Rams, cause that's what we gonna have to beat, get out of that division, and then they played them in the playoffs and they beat beat them again. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, no. with, with a quarterback with screws in his hand, Derek Gronk got screws in his hand and he beat yeah. you. Come on, man. That's, the Seahawks are gonna no struggle for, that. for for a while until they figure out that line, and uh, also their defense. They defense, you know. Yeah. They were from Legion they, 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 to, they did take a. They, they did start getting better toward the end of the season. I love Jamal Adams. Nine and a half sacks at safety. That's nothing. That's 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 a phenomenal. And then you got uh you got boy from Cincinnati. They got a D line. Uh, right. Dunlap. Yep. He did. Yeah. He did pretty good. So I mean, just add to that D line though. Add to the to the secondary. Just get better, man. And um, I think you'll 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 be you'll be in better shape next year. Yeah. But uh, we're gonna move on to the Rams. Well, well, we're gonna move on to the Bills versus well. Um, Actually, we're gonna move on to the Packers versus Rams. Okay. 
Uh, that's the uh, division round playoffs. And uh, the Packers actually just, I mean, they, 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 they did pretty good against the Rams. It was 31-17, something it went, like that. It went high, high expected. Yeah, it went high, high it, expected. The Rams weren't at full strength. Uh, the biggest weapon on defense, Aaron Donald, uh, I don't care if he played or not. You, he had, what, torn cartilage on he his did, He did. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not, he, not not even him. Yeah, they they, they, they didn't have uh, Aaron Donald at his, his best, but so, um, they, they they tried their best though. They they they, they did keep it keep it close. Yeah, and, and, then, and it's hard to win up in Lambeau. It, it wasn't snowing, but it was you know it's cold. It's always cold. Yeah, and the LA boys, the LA boys going to the snow. You practicing in the dome? The whole yeah, that's different. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I mean, they they went over. You got Jared Goff for quarterback. Yeah. So and with 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 a playing with a glove. Yeah. And he got screws in his finger. Nah, that, 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 was, that was just that was just. Like I said, I, I said as expected, and I'm, I changed that to the Rams did better than I expected them to. Right. And then you have Ramsey versus uh, Devontae Adams. Right. That was a good well, matchup. You know, but I mean, but, but uh, Devontae, yeah, Devontae, he Devontae got a lot of receivers. Right. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right. And it's like, but Aaron Rodgers has other wide receivers also. Yeah, he does. He don't spread. He don't spread the ball a little bit. So I, I don't know. Oh wait, and then we missed the biggest point. Uh, Green Bay just ran the ball on them. They that, did. That, that was I, like, I like the dealing, the running back, the dealing they got. That's yeah. a big running back, and you gonna need a big running back when it comes to playoffs, man. You need to run, you know, run, run the ball between them tackles. He can do it. Yep. And um, and they still got you know Aaron, Aaron Jones, and you know what I mean he got Williams in that backfield too, man. I mean so, they, 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 they loaded, they loaded. All man. three of them, they, they like get, get right. what you get. Right, get what you get. Go ahead, go ahead, run down their throat. Yep. But we are gonna get into the Bills over the Ravens. And them three points that the Ravens scored, that's, that was ridiculous. I um, mean, 17 to 3, I mean, come on, you got to score more than three points in the playoff game. I expect. Lamar Jackson did go out in the fourth quarter, but you had three quarters to score, and you didn't score. So. Well, one, uh, they did worse than expected. I expected the Bills to win. Baltimore. You thought Baltimore would keep it close a little bit, at least. Yeah, but, um, and it goes back to that progression that I talked about right. earlier with uh, right. Lamar. The whole offense. Because at some point, Lamar has to be able to drop back defense, and be a quarterback. When defense hold a team to 17 points, win that game. Yeah. You should win that game. Especially on uh, offense like the Bills. Yes. Like, if I'm on the defense they right now. Defense job. Man, I'm like. Offense, it's going to point. I mean, I, 17 points in a playoff game. You put win that game. And they're, they're one of the top offenses. This ain't a this ain't, this ain't no, run the ball team. Right. This is this is a passing team with Stephon Diggs and, and Josh Allen. Yeah. And you have them 17 points. Yeah. And you didn't win that game. No excuse. And you didn't even keep it close. You didn't keep it close. So it's 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 it's, it's that I mean, was that was terrible. I think I think the I don't have a problem in the playoffs. Not not the highlight of the game, but I think what highlights the problem is I remember a play where it was third and four. Third and four, and they called a quarterback sweep. And it's like, what does that say about their confidence in Lamar Orm? Right. Third and four, you should be able to drop that uh, tight end yeah. right there, you know, right. dump it off. And yeah. they couldn't do that. Right. So until they get to a point where they're gonna let Lamar be a quarterback, they're he, gonna he, always he, he have these problems. Show, he got to show that too. Well, that that's also true. He showed them that to the point where they put their put their faith in him like that. And, and but see, but I I go back to the previous playoffs where they lost. But he put up what three hundred and sixty five yards, something like that. Oh yeah, he did. He did. Like, he did. can throw the ball. He has an arm. Yeah. But I feel like it's on them to open him up to open the offense up. Right. They gonna have to do something next year because they can't keep. Coming, coming with that same stuff that they've been doing. Yep. It, it's, it's not working. At all. I mean, you are like, oh, they're going to run the ball. Yeah, that's it. They, they Stop running. Put, put nine in the ball, eight in the ball, whatever you got to do. Right. And the receivers ain't going to do shit. And then yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't even, one on one. They don't even make you respect their, his arm. Because at some point, you would be like, oh, okay, they'll just leave a spot. And the messed up part about it is he got weapons. You got, you got Andrews and you got Hollywood. He ain't got no excuses, bro. You got weapons. Nah. Ain't, ain't no excuses. All right, man. It's gonna be. It's gonna wrap up this episode and tell it how you see it. Podcast. I'm Dante Williams, your host. This is Quiz right here, man. I'm gonna have this man back, man, because he know he got a lot of knowledge on this boxing and this NFL and the NBA, man. So I gotta have him back. If if you will come back, man, I'll be happy to come back. Cool, cool, cool. Time. That's how I do the career, man. I appreciate it, man. We are gonna sign off.
resources. Hen Dells are coming off the e-course. I'm hitting the booth for I'm killing shit. I ain't having no remorse. Job is pulling up in a gray Porsche. I've been on the track like a racehorse. I was looking forward in the dark. I seen a lot of people get scarred. We was in the cut, you might call it alley. They was smoking midget, we was smoking Cali. I was in the bed, then I made a rally. I was in the trap riding on some rallies. This is no cap, I was paying salary. We was moving weight, we was counting calories. We was counting up, trying to make a way. Quick piece of hood, starting making place. Peanut butter, good size, eight J's. Trying to make money, five, eight ways. I've been dying now, I'm flying to Jamaica. White boy party, I done died, eight Yeagles. Fuck that party, I keep my mind on my paper. Fuck that shit, I got the mind of a taker. Fuck that bitch, I got a queen and an acre. BLM, I'm going black like a raider. Wonder where you are. Oh, 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 oh. Wonder where you are. Wonder where you are. Wonder where you are. Oh, 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 oh. Wonder where you are. Wonder, wonder where you are. Oh, 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 oh. Running, 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 trying to get up on it. Running in the city, running in some conies. Seven nine running, got a couple ponies. Seven one money, wrecked it last summer. Going too fast, trying to rake in all these commas. Looking for it out and dug a couple tunnels. Running work out and been a whole runner. Blue flame, we done been some hoes. West Atlanta put malice in my mental. Got my apartments looking like Allen Temple. Call my partner coming back in a rental. Call my lawyer, I got a stack for his dinner. Two degrees, I got clear communication. Two degrees, I'm still trapping like I'm baby. Mama clueless, she just happy for a baby. I didn't choose it, the shit just gravitated. I've been underground, I've been in the basement. I've been trying to dig up a large pavement. I be spitting this shit for real. Y'all just be spitting y'all shit for entertainment. I ain't got no limit, catch me in the tank. Stack the money up till that bitch faint. Hop on top, then we shoot off like a stop. Free as fuck. Tell me where you are. Wonder where you are. Oh, 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 oh. Wonder where you are. Wonder where you are. Wonder where you are. Oh, 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 oh. Wonder where you are. Wonder where you are. Wonder where you are. Yeah, yeah, up, up, up. I ain't have a bus stop. Yeah, now I got a test squad. I can't get enough pals. I can't do enough math. Tough scene when I seen when I seen on the bluff out. All 14 hanging with the real rats. We all in the huddle asking where the love at. We put money and hoping that it come back. In our mind, it's always combat. In the pain, that's where our songs at. In the game, we just lucky to come back. Freedom of mind, we just lucky to see it. I'm free in my mind, I'm just lucky to be it. I'm free in my mind, I'm gorilla my tree. I gorilla my grind, I'm swinging from trees. Invest in my seeds and options to stop. If it's left up to me, no option to stop. I'm 73, I'm keeping it stop. Man, fuck all that shit, I'm dropping the top. I pop and pop out. I'm back in my buggy. It's known on my side, I've been keeping it duggy. It's known in my tribe that I've been through the ugly. All of my life, I've been looking for lovely. Wonder where you are.